So, so what do you want to say about women sailing the moths? Oh, I, we gotta ask. Gotta ask. Uh, I, I think Jonathan was right on the mark. He just, we really need to lend a hand. There's so much boat work. There's so much kind of physical stuff. I mean, I'm a pretty small person. It's pretty hard for me to get the mast up and deal with the boat when you're it's windy thin. on the shore. And you're not unmuscular. You're I know, muscular. but it, it's still hard, you know. Yeah. And, um, so I, I think Jonathan's right. We just need to make a more concerted effort to to bring women into the class and say, listen, yeah. we'll make sure you're on the starting line. Just show up. Yeah. And because girls, I mean, most of the time are far better at driving boats than men. Um, that's just how it is. I mean, yeah. there yeah. seems to be a lot better feel. And it's not a strength game once you're on the boat. Once you're on the boat, it's super easy. So the masts it's, it's, are soft, the sails are flat enough. You, yeah. you, you can, there's, a, there's a full range of power schemes with mast and sail combinations that 110, 115 pound women can sail the boats no problem. So I think we just need to make an effort as a class to, to promote it and say, yep, we're going to help and we're going to make it happen. Good deal. So as, as soon as women are ready, start sending emails, you know, get on our yeah. asses about it. That's perfect. Okay. So, we're the volunteers. Okay. We have the interviewer and the future moth sailing world okay. champion female. <laughs> so, McKenna and I have been volunteering almost every day at the moth world here. Yes. And so McKenna sails and she really knows a lot. She's been out every day. So McKenna, what do you think? What do you think about, do you think you're going to try a moth? Yeah, for sure. It'll be a while, but I'll surely try one. Well, now they're, um, George Peach has said to, you know, kick their butts to, to get them to help people. George Peach should give her $20,000. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. You should give you $20,000 to sail. Yes. So, so I, what I think, but you think, but there's some moths around here you can try out. Yeah, for sure. I've got friends who've got them, they say I can. Well, good. I think you should do it. So, my, my guess is you'll say that a woman should be able to sail a moth with oh, no problem I mean, like anybody I've, else. I've got quite a few girls in the class. Oh, you do? Oh, good, yeah, good, yeah, good. In, in Australia, there's quite a few. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, and I look after them a lot. Like, well, I just really help them with anything I possibly can to get them on the water and keep them you know, competitive. And the girl finished 14th last year in the 100 boat fleet. Oh, good. Why good. isn't she here? Yeah, why isn't uh, she's she here? Just started, she started university this year. Oh. And so she's, um, but she's doing the next world in Dubai. Oh, good, good. Yeah. So she okay, lives good. in Melbourne, quite friendly. So she's, uh, she's definitely interested. And what's her name, so we can look for Sam, her? Sam England. Oh, we heard, we've heard of her. Yeah. Okay, good, good. So, so it sounds to me like you're paralleling helping the women, just like you did getting the moth foiled. No, oh, well, yeah. Now, in a way, the class is taking off on its own. I don't need to right. worry about. It. I'm helping um, mainly the, the girls and the young kids mm -hmm. get into it. That's um, so in Australia, I help a lot of youth, and over the world, like the Henkins and. Mm -hmm. Driscoll's and I've, I've helped them quite a lot to try and keep them involved and now they're hooked so they help other kids go. So this girl standing here right right by the camera is the potential for a moth sailor. Uh, you were watching the racing this week. Yeah. She was helping, she was yeah, volunteering. Yeah, I saw her on the, the starboat. Yeah, she, and she, she sails quite a bit. So what, what advice would you give this girl? Oh, you've got to get one first to start off with. Can That's she, can she borrow? It's out of her league. Can she yeah, borrow no, one? No, for sure. Speak to, um, the guys at West Coast, because they've got a demo boat to get you out for a sail. So that's the first thing, is just get have a go. And once you're on it, you go, oh my god, this is unreal. And then you yeah. want to keep doing it. And then you can't not sail. <laughs> it's very addictive. And what, do, does she need to find a mentor to help her out with the moth yeah, in would particular? Help. Yeah, okay. it would help. Just I mean, just keep involved. The video. Keep coming down with the uh, with the guys down at the club and just, and. Oh look at Lindsay, yeah. she sells, I speak to her a lot, but start small and just gradually work your way up. Thank but, you. But the ultimate goal for me is to have a female win the world title. Oh, you're the perfect so, interview, thank you. So that's what about what your, your wife? <laughs> no, she's not a sailor. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's the ultimate goal, is to just have a female win the world title. So you'd, you'd groom up a... But definitely groom up a competitive female sailor yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think uh, Anna Tunnicliffe is very, she's she's potential. Do you know Anna? She won the no, gold medal uh, in the laser radial in Beijing. Oh, okay, no. Uh, she's the wife her. of Brad Funk. Oh, well, gee, and, okay. And she's extremely good. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, she could definitely be groomed to win the world title. Well, that's really cool.
So we, well, we have a recurring theme and we're asking everybody and we, so our recurring theme is that we, we want to get certain people who, you know, know something, their opinion about women sailing these moths. You couldn't find a better boat. That's what we think. It, 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 it's really good to be light. I mean, mm -hmm. it, 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 yeah, the weight in these boats is really interesting because there is no weight. There is no saying like a laser or a, any other boat where it's like, this is the weight you should mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. You can't have that in mix because if you are light, you get foiling early. You if get you, foiling early? Yeah, early, okay. yeah. And if you are heavy, you can power it once you're foiling. Interesting. So, you know, there's, there's a range of like 60 to 85 kilos could win a championship. Like, Simon is only 64, 62. Bora is 82 kilos. The wetsuit's pretty shot as well. But you've got a good tan line. Yeah. I think you should show that for the camera. Yeah, yeah. for the yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah. For the tan. Bit of leg. What? <laughs> <laughs> you want to show your leg? <laughs> nice. Got a hole in the wetsuit. Is that part of female fans? Yeah, that's that's for the female. Fans. You want to um, pull off your t-shirt too? <laughs> no, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, this this do British. Don't want to scare the fans. <laughs> There's a limit. So, so we've been told that it. To, t to do moths, that it takes endurance yeah. and skill and agility. So, so. Tell me good looks. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> so, so, but he's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think about women sailing moths? Since, you know, there's only one woman here. Yeah, there are quite a few, well, a few guys at home who sail them in the UK. It's a shame that many more came along. Yeah. I think more, more shame, women are getting interested. In there's the no class, reason so. why girls can't do it just as well as men. So, yeah. That's pretty simple. Yeah. <laughs> the zoom in on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Not something like there should be more girls in the class. Yeah. Yeah, Finish with a thumbs up. Fit ones, preferably. <laughs> <laughs>